Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you this skinny milk box that I made using the Be Mine Valentine stamp set and products from the suite. This suite comes in our January mini catalog that's coming soon. So let me set this aside and I'll show you how to get started. I'm going to start by scoring my piece of designer series paper for this project, and I am going to score at the one and a quarter inch mark, two and a half inch mark, three and three quarters, and five. Now this is directional and I want this at the top, so I'm going to turn this like so, and I'm going to score, excuse me, this is my top, so I'm going to turn this like so, and score at the four and three quarter inch mark for the bottom. I've got that finished and I'm ready to fold on the score lines. So I'm simply going to take my fingers first and fold on each one of these lines. Just to get my initial fold and so I can see things. And then I'm going to bring in my bone folder and I'm gonna make those nice tight creases. Then I'm going to bring in my scissors and I am going to cut on each one of these score lines to where the score lines meet. I've got that done and I'm going to bring in this smaller edge, fold it down, and I'm going to add some adhesive. And I'm going to do this on the full flap all the way up and down. And then I'm going to simply lay this regular flap on top of that and adhere. Now that I have that done, I'm ready to create my bottom flap. So I am going to fold in the first flap, add a little adhesive. And of course you can use your tear and tape for this. I'm using my liquid because it's here and handy. I'm going to place that down and then here. Now if you want a nice clean fold you'll want to take the side that has the last flap on it. Make sure you do that in the last orientation and that way you'll have a clean looking front versus the side here. And if that bothers you add a little more adhesive. Your tear and tape will allow you to put it on all four sides and press down. I'm going to start with my stamping for this because it takes a little while to dry. And I wanted to show you the orientation of the punch. This is important when you're stamping so that you can slide it into your cardstock easily. So I'm going to flip this over to look where I need to stamp. And I know my little wings need to go this way. And I am going to, let's see, turn this and stamp once and then twice, and that should give me plenty of room for my stamping. The next thing I'm going to do is my antennae, and I'm going to stamp that in my tuxedo, and I, let's see, I'm gonna stamp that right here on the right. Now I'm going to be fussy cutting that, so I wanna have some room, and then I'm going to bring in my little B. I'm going to ink this up, make sure it's nice and strong, so you'll want a juicy ink pad. Count to three and release. And punch. And as you can see, I get multiple things. So depending on how you wanna do that, you'll wanna make sure your little B is right. My little punch lock came out, so I'm simply going to slip that back in, like so, and then lock my punch. I do have a video tutorial on how to do that if that happens to you frequently. I'm going to take my little face here, ink it up, and place it on my little B. Punching it first allows me to see exactly where I want to put that face. At this point, my wings should be dry, and I'm going to punch those out. I'm going to slide this first one in and punch. I'm going to place my second one in here and punch again. Now these are vellum, so you're going to be wanting to be very careful with where your adhesive goes. 
There we go. And I'm going to fussy cut my little antennae. You can get these as close as you'd like. Make sure they're dry. And if they're not dry enough, you can always hit them with your heat tool or allow a little more time. It's really going to depend on your humidity and the area of the country that you live in, how long it takes. There we go, I've got my fussy cutting done and I'm ready to assemble. Okay, one last bit of stamping that I forgot to do is my little flower topper. So I'm going to bring in my strip here and I'm using my double oval punch for this. I'm going to punch first since this is photopolymer and punch. And then I can take my little flower image here and simply stamp it as desired. I'm going to fold this in half so I want it on the one side. Now I'm ready to assemble and I'm going to take my two fingers and put it on either side of the box and push in. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to squeeze. And what that's going to do is create the top of my skinny milk box. I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna add this Burt's Bees chapstick. I thought this was cute with the bee theme. Put that in and I can fold this in half. I'm gonna use my stapler and staple to seal it. I'm gonna bring in my ribbon and make a little bow with this beautiful ribbon. I'm gonna make it smaller here, firm it up. Let's see, that looks about right. I'm gonna, there we go, I am going to trim it. Cutting the ends off like so. I'm going to pick a mini glue dot up here onto the back and place that on my staple. So as you can see, that flower is right there. You can make it a little lower if you'd like. Mine's probably a little high. And then I'm going to bring in my bee. Now I'm going to add my wings and my antennae first. So I am going to add to the front side of my wings this first set, and I'm gonna add that to the back of my little guy. And then I'm going to add the antennae the same way. It's okay if a little of the adhesive goes over the stamped image because it'll get adhered onto the little milk box and that'll help. And then I'm going to take my other wing here and adhere it with another glue dot. Now where you place that glue dot strategically is up to you. It will show slightly, but I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to place my little bee right here onto my milk box, like so. Let's see, I think I'm going to put him right here. So I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive onto the back, making sure I don't get it onto the vellum because it will buckle the vellum our liquid adhesive and place him down. So there you go, a sweet little treat box to hold a special little treat for somebody special. I've used the Be Mine Valentine stamp set and products from the suite. And of course, if you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Ginny. Thanks for joining me.